So let's, let's get into our first doctrine. God has his will. Remember, God's desires, what God desires of us in Proverbs, he wants us to have his character in our lives. God is wise. Now look at Proverbs 3.19. It says this, The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. God is wise. God is loving, Proverbs 28, 13. God knows everything. He's all powerful. So God wants that to affect our lives. Now let me show you something. Here's you. And some of you have family problems. Like you're, maybe you're like me. Your parents don't get along. Some of you might have financial problems. Some of you might have health problems. You know, you, there's something wrong with your body. It doesn't work fully. Uh, some of you might have fears. You know what I mean? You, you have problems. So here, this is, if I could show every one of us in this room, there you are, and you live in a box, and you have a little mix of health problems, um, money problems, relational problems, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this is what God wants us to know. Look at those four truths. Uh, God's omniscient, omnipotent, do you know what those mean? Omnipotent means all-powerful. Uh, he is omnipresent, and he is loving, uh, loving up there. This is wise. Omniscient is God's wisdom. Uh, this, this is his power. This is the fact he's everywhere, so he's in the box with us. Now let me share something with you. Here's cancer. Probably, nobody in this room, I doubt very many of you have cancer yet. God is so powerful that cancer cannot get into your life unless, because he's so powerful, he could stop it. But he knows what's best for us and he loves us so much that sometimes he allows cancer in. He allows in car accidents. He allows us to lose people we love. He allows us to have disasters. See, what God is saying is, I want you to understand, I'm so powerful, nothing can get to you unless it comes through me. By the way, the Lord's omniscience means he knows, he knows that you're going to have financial problems or that you're going to lose your job or that your parents are going to split up or whatever long before it happens. And he still is God, and he allows it in. And, of course, we know the answer to this. It's Romans 8, 28, right? Have you guys memorized that yet? And we know that God works. There you go. And the Romans 8, 28 is, in Greek, it's God it isn't, we know all things work together. It's kind of vague. It's like, kind of like it's happening. God works all things together is the order of the Greek language. So God is using his wisdom to allow problems in our life to shape us. He's using his love to, he'll never harm us, but he'll allow us to suffer. And so that's part of the doctrine of knowing God that Proverbs reveals to us. Every one of his attributes are shown in the book of Proverbs. 